Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the oh. Council. Well, we're back. I have to listen to this first, and then I'll introduce everybody. Hello, Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. We realize you were faced with a difficult decision in responding to the various requests for assistance. Regardless, you performed admirably. Thank you. As Thank you very much. Upon, the reward for your actions has been granted. Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. Me too. Thank you. All right. So this is Jimmy Joe's channel, but this is actually Lady Panther. You can probably tell from my voice is squeaky. <laughs> All right. So we're upgrading laboratory stuff. Although it looks like we actually need to build a new laboratory. For scientists. I like scientists. The council knows you made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, there's only so much we can do. However, our chief engineer did come up with something to help you keep an eye on things. Well, that's the pretty cool. The situation provides constant monitoring of every member nation in the council. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the council. And they'll take their funding and additional support with them. Well, that's not good. The not at all. The confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen, which engineering has nicknamed the Doom Tracker. Uh oh. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. I'm going to briefly ignore that. And go to the barracks instead. Go to the barracks. <sighs> Fine. Mission control. I thought I was the commander, commander here. Dr. Volan reports that research is progressing in the labs. But it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Okay. Uh, in that case, I want to go back. <laughs> Fine. Scan for activity. I know that's teaching me the game and everything, but the schematics still. for the nanofiber vest are complete, Commander. Engineering is awaiting approval for fabrication. Alright. Sign new research. Commander, with this research complete, my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens, we must understand their physiology. I mean, it would be very helpful, yes. You are correct. Alright. Well, looks like the only one we have currently is the aliens. So, yes, please. Thank you, Commander. You're welcome. I will let you know when this research has been completed. As you, as you were. Engineering online. Hm. It appears Dr. Shen's staff have finally figured out how to turn their machines on. <laughs> Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Let me guess, I can't go to the barracks. Fine. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Well, thank you. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Yes, please. Yes, very nice, very nice. Med kits. Oh, med kits are good. Let's see, I have $265. So we want uh, four of these. Submit order. Fabrication of the nanofiber vest is complete, Commander. It has been delivered to the armory. Wow. That was Commander fast. To the barracks. Commander to the barracks. New Finally. And weapons from engineering will always be delivered directly to the armory, Commander. Cool. Alright. So you need a name. Yes, I was trying to get to the barracks to name people. It's just weird like that. Alright, so this is going to be Alan. Hello, Alan. Confirm. Alan does not look like this. Alan looks like... Oh, no. It doesn't have a helmet. Uh, well, he's going to look like this, whether he wants to or not. 
Eh, close enough. Obviously, I can't get the people exact. And he's gonna have blue armor. Cool. Alright, and load out because I want. Oh, what? Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. Hmm. So I can't have grenades and a vest? What about my body armor? Hmm. Well. You should, you should have a grenade. You are not support. You're gonna have a vest. There. So hopefully your health went up. No one else is class yet, so. Alright, so I need to go to the situation room. Because they're telling me what to do rather than the other the way around. Has requested a word. Rude. I guess it Hello, the council, Commander. though. We require your assistance with a unique matter. We expect that you will give it the <gasps> same. You mean aliens are not unique enough? As you would for any other project objective. <sighs> One of the captives abducted by the aliens has somehow managed to escape. If you could retrieve this woman, she may have valuable insight into the aliens' operation. Or, we'll transmit the coordinates or now. she could have a chest burster and go, Bleh! Commander. We know you will not disappoint us. Sounds more like a threat than a confidence booster. Sounds like we better get to it. Right. Launch. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Hmm. I'm going to... <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to also edit yours. Oops. The loadout part. You're also going to get a vest. Alright, well, let's mission. Touching down. Not without my consent, you're not. We're heading into China for the next operation. You're looking for an Anna Singh, the only person known to have escaped from alien captivity. Our mission is to locate her somewhere on that block and get her out of there. Alrighty. As long as she doesn't explode. If she kills my guys, I'm gonna be mad at her. Not that being mad at her is gonna do any good, but you know. Alright. Take note of the extraction zone, people. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate evac. Ten, four, good buddy. All right, so that's an edge, and that's an edge. So forward. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. You just want me to capture everything. Okay, good. Huh. All right, sixty-two percent. Hit it. Yeah. Usually, when they do huge, like cinematic scenes like that, they kill it. Ooh, that looks like some kind of smog. We're not gonna go anywhere near that.
Oops. I didn't mean it. Die. I wonder how long poison lasts. If I remember correctly, it's like until you get a med kit, but. ET's trying to crawl up my flank. Right. How do I stop people from panicking? Can't remember. How do I miss? Panicking anymore. Yeah, working on it. Okay, we need to go here and reload. We're green to go. We need to go here and shoot this guy. Good. Because everyone else has moved, we're just going to move you here. Excuse me. And end a turn. Hunker down. Where are you? Help! 
Patience! Well, working on it! Goodness gracious! Uh oh. Sneeze attack first than aliens. VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. Ten and four. Of course we will. Cause that's what we're here for. Mm. I don't know who you are, but I'd probably be dead right now if you hadn't shown up. You're probably not wrong. So many bodies in there. I just don't understand it. Strike one. We've got a wave of x-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Good. Good. We like this. It's very scary. Enemy forces headed your way, Strike One. Get ready. No!
Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Executed to the double strike one. Get back here on the double. You betcha. Now hopefully, like I said, she doesn't go all boomy and put aliens in our face, because that would be bad. Yeah. They all got promoted. Alright, so bullet swarm. First as first as no longer ends a turn. Okay, cool. Also first. Huh. Ah, this one. Confirm. Good job, Corporal. Allows the support to move three additional tiles. Allows reaction shot to trigger an, on enemy attacks, not just movement. Yeah. Confirm. Yay, you got promoted, which means you'll actually get names. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Good luck, squaddy. <laughs> what you get? Our snipers Ooh, yeah! Of damage I like snipers. Form, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. All right, ten four that means you will also get a name. So continue, continue. Nice, more scientists. Remember, continue. We will be watching. Yeah, yeah. Looks like I have to go to the situation room without naming my dudes. Commander, okay. good news. Okay. The council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites. So I recommend we launch the new one immediately. Okay. We're going to launch it in, let's see, South America, I think. Because that is. Where is South America? Uh, I guess Brazil? Hmm. One scientist per month. One engineer per month. One engineer per month. Excuse me. Engineer, scientist. Scientist. Oh, Mexico really likes this. One engineer and one scientist. Launch satellite. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. Of course you do. What if I want to go to the barracks? Hey. <sighs> Ooh, something's happening. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, <laughs> yes. I'm afraid we've reached the <laughs> pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? I mean, it's if true. If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it and interrogate it. Oh, yeah. Communicate is exactly want, what we want to do. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. 
I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Conveniently, the commander gets to eavesdrop on just about everything. Assign new research. New object. Objective. Objective. New objective. Top secret. Okay. Pretty much just telling us what the Based on Dr. Valen's report, oh. I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need, in order to house the alien captive. Commander to engineering. Commander yes, to, to engineering. all of that? Uh, engineering. Commander. No Sir, you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. Yes, a sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, I don't think she doesn't realize it, I think she just doesn't care facility. about it because it's your job. All right, select build facilities, disabled or for tutorial. And alien containment. Begin. Begin construction. Thank you, Commander. You're welcome. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. You do that. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Commander to the research lab. I'm going back to engineering. And I want to won't let me do anything with it yet. Okay, fine. Guess we have to wait till stuff happens. Build or buy items. I need med kits. Two med kits, please. Cement water. Oops, back. Thank you. Research. Commander. I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. With your authorization, we can begin. Yes, the world travels faster out immediately. Okay. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. I want to go to the barracks. <sighs> All right, fine. Commander. We're picking up widespread radio chatter indicating UFO sightings within our current satellite coverage area. We should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible. All right, fine. Looks like that satellite we launched paid off. We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. On the bandit. All right. We need not here. Disengaging. Yay! Took two ships. 
001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, Yay. people. Retask recon satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Okay. <sighs> I guess they don't get names yet. Unless I can name them here. <laughs> Alright. Edit unit because you get a medic pack. These guys get names. Get to be Ross. Ross is mostly bald. Guess we can give him a little bit of hair. There we go. And oh yeah. There's my phone again. Edit unit. Customize. Facial hair. Come on. Where's the, be the beard beards? Uh, what is up with this? Oh, there we go. That works. Alan also has a big beard. There we go. And this one. Uh, edit unit. Customize. This will be my sister. One of them. Caledonia. Confirm. And her hair color is like brownish. Sure. Whatever that is. Go with that. Um. Alright, that's good. Alright, I guess we're gonna launch mission. Probably didn't need to make four vests. It's probably a waste of money. Shame on me. Our target site is near the German border. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. Well, that's good. There are civilians in the area. I hope they stay clear. Ha! Ah, me too. Is that again? Would be bad. This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Sir well, one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Okay. Sir one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Well, that's what we came here for. Um. So yeah, we're gonna end this for now and have a good week and enjoy and Looks like all right like and subscribe because you're having so much fun right resistance. duh that's why you're watching no this <laughs>